In this video, I'm gonna share with you five things that handsome men have that average men don't. Guys, the gap is widening between men who are very attractive versus men who are not. Women are gonna treat you very, very differently based on what they label you as. Are you an average guy? Or are you a really handsome guy? The sooner you make yourself a handsome guy, you're gonna start to observe a lot of the things that handsome men have that you might not have. Let's get right into the video. What's the first thing that handsome men have that average men don't? Handsome men have women in the friend zone. I know, the friend zone that is so hated. Handsome men, they have the opposite. It's called the D-only zone. They are, they are women who don't mind being in the friend zone of a man. You're never gonna get this as an average man. If you've never experienced women that you find attractive being okay with just coming over, chilling, getting worked and going home, you're not that handsome. You're not that special. Please understand that they give different perks to different men. If you're a guy scratching your head like, man, I could barely even get a date. I could barely even get a girl to show up. I could barely even get women to text me back. You telling me they got dudes who have women that are willing to just come over and smash and go home that are attractive? Yes, they are. I've experienced this several times in my life. I know you got a chick. I know you're doing this. I don't have no problem. As long as you give me some D, I'll come through. You know, we might order some food in. Give me what I came here for and I'm, I'm gone by my business. That has happened several times to me. This didn't happen when I was a mediocre looking motherfucker. When my beard was all patchy, my hairstyle was fucked up. I never got that. I never got that friends with benefit, benefit from women. I never got that. And if, if, if you've never experienced this, this is because women don't see you as that guy. I guarantee you, bro, there are, women, there are men that get these privileges from women. She has no issue. Just being around you is validating enough. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that there are, there are some men who his sex is worth so high that a woman has no problem coming, hanging out, getting stroked, going home. That is a man that she sees as having a high SMV. That is a man that she sees as, as being very, very handsome. She's very physically attracted to you. There's no way you guys can convince me y'all have actually experienced beautiful girls that legitimately liked you and you still want to change women's mind. How? That's like saying, I've experienced the luxury life. I've driven a Rolls Royce. I have a Lambo and I'm okay going back to Toyota. That makes no fucking sense. So I reckon that if you've never experienced girls you found attractive pursuing you this way, it's you don't have a problem chasing. For a guy like me, no. I've, I've been with some really beautiful girls, girls that I consider nines. I'm talking about, oh my Lord. Those women to certain guys, they give these perks to. Those women to certain guys, they're willing to be just in the friend zone, hoping that one day he changes his mind. This doesn't mean it's gonna last forever. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying a woman is gonna be in your friend zone forever, but she don't mind being in that friend zone for a while. The more attractive you are as a man, the more you're gonna have women okay with being in your friend zone. Number two, they have aura slash sex appeal. There's this new term I know you young bucks are using, aura, aura. He has aura. Well, let me explain to you what aura is. Aura tends to only be in men who are very attractive. That's that persona. He has a charm to him. He has an aura about him. He has that calm, nonchalant. Just think to yourself, if you know a guy that women really, really are into, women find very physically attractive, you will notice a specific kind of aura about him. It's like he has that golden, that halo above him. That's what it is. He likes, it's like he has this halo. Everybody just likes being around him. Everybody just likes talking to him. Why does this dude specifically have no issue just being friends with everybody? They have not only aura, but they have that sex appeal as well, right? He's just somebody that people are just gonna look at. Okay, he got it going on. Handsome men have that, average men don't. You an average guy, bro, people see right through your ass. Nobody notices you. Nobody comes up to you. Want me to tell you if you have aura? How many times do people in general talk to you for no reason? If you're a person that nobody comes and starts having a conversation with you, nobody comes and wants to just ask you questions, you don't have aura. We don't have that. That aura is very charming to women. Women notice men who have that aura. A man who's just living his life and, and people just like to be around, people just like to talk to, women can sense that. And when she's around him, 
she has that same intrigue as well to pursue him. Everything just seems so easy for this dude. You're like, damn, bro. Duke Dennis is somebody that I would consider having a lot of aura. You will see a lot of people talk about it. And he's just living his life. The dude is not trying to have aura. He's just calm, nonchalant, easygoing, attractive dude. People just like to be around him. That's what aura means, but he's not an ugly dude. If he was less attractive, all this aura wouldn't, wouldn't exist. <laughs> it wouldn't exist. Because he's an attractive dude, because he gets attention from women, because he has that sex appeal, you will see that, that halo effect around him. Just be living in his life, women are staring, women are looking, women are gawking. That's what aura means. But you don't get that as an average dude. You don't get that as a mediocre man. You don't get that as a man that you're easily overlooked. Nothing is special about you. I seen some videos where it was like, Duke has like, he's good at this, he's good at that, he's good at all type of shit. That's what creates the aura. Ding, 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 ding. He has so many good things about him, well-roundedness, like I always tell y'all. That's what creates that charm. If he wasn't good at anything, and was just a regular mediocre slob, he wouldn't have that. But because I think he can rap too, I think he can rap, he can make videos, he can play basketball, football those things add to the charm so when you become well-rounded as a man you start to have more of this charm and aura about you that for men is aura for women is sex appeal number three they have routines handsome men are going to be meticulous about their life they're not handsome for no reason a lot of guys who are very attractive are psychopaths literally psychopaths with their routine I'm one of them, right? The more attractive I've become, guys, my day-to-day -day life, you will see it's very, very routine. I will go as far as to say routine is what makes you rich. Routine, like literally having a set routine. I got a set routine when I wake up, how I eat, how I sleep, everything. Got a routine for everything. How I do business, when I study, how I fuck, everything. <laughs> so there's, there's gotta be a system routines come from great systems guys and when it comes to routine and a system that works in my opinion guys one of the first routines that you need to have is your skincare routine let's start there you want to start having more aura you want to start being more attractive you got to have a great skincare routine let's start there Start doing something repeatedly, continuously, that makes you attractive. So you can stop being this mediocre man. And when it comes to attractiveness, guys, and that routine, nobody does it better than Teach Henley. My go-to skincare routine, guys, for over three years now. This is gonna give you that aura. Teach Henley, guys, prides themselves on being uncomplicated skincare for men. It's super simple, super straightforward. Every single box comes with instructions on how to use the products, when to use them so you can create that routine that routine is going to allow you to be a more handsome attractive man if you're a guy that's thinking to yourself why do i gotta do all that man don't worry that's why you average that's why you're overlooked that's why women don't pay attention to you because you can't do something repeatedly consistently to make you better you want you ain't doing a skincare routine for me dog i'm already attractive I already have my skincare routine. You're doing a skincare routine for you. When you become attractive, you get better results. And that's why I love Teach Henley, guys. Uncomplicated, straightforward. You know when to use it, how to use it. Every single box. I don't like routines that are complicated. I don't like things that are confusing. I like straight to the point so I can do it every day. The more simple it is, the more effective it can be, the more consistent you can be. That's the formula. Every single man can pick whatever system they want, right? I personally like the level three system that comes with a wash, AM, PM, and a serum. Pick whatever system works for you guys. When you sign up with TGNLY, guys, when you become a member, you get exclusive discounts, you get free shipping throughout the US. And because you're watching this, man, you're gonna get an extra 40% off, 20% off for life, and a free gift. My free gift, guys, that I like is the scrubber. I love the scrubber. I can't tell you how many times I've heard women tell me that guys smell like ass. I'm talking about in the gym, everywhere I go, guys have a must to them. Start using that scrubber, man, so you can scrub off that must. You need to be showering two times a day minimum, and T. Jill is gonna give you this free gift. So make sure you go in the link in the description and the pinned comments to grab your box. Number four, they have more opportunities. As an attractive man, what you're gonna notice is 
People are going to start wanting to do business with you. People are going to start wanting to live a life where you're involved. When I was ugly, it made sense why I was broke. The uglier I was, the poorer I was. Go fucking figure. The more handsome I become, the more rich I become, the more successful I become. Let me give you some psychology, right? You're watching this video. You can tell I'm a good looking dude. Does that make it easier for you to believe what I'm telling you or harder? If I was ugly, if you looked at me like, this dude don't look that good, man. Would you believe what I'm telling you or would you not? Because you see me as an attractive person, you tend to naturally trust me more. I could be a piece of shit. I could be a horrible person, which I'm not. I'm a wonderful person. I love giving value, but I could literally be a piece of shit. And because I look good, you would say, you know what? Because he's attractive, what he's saying must make sense. They have been experiments with where attractive dudes get lesser sentences to jail. Motherfucker will commit a crime. And because he's more attractive, he gets less jail time than you. More attractive people get better opportunities. They get treated better. They get more favors. They get more gifts. They get more perks. They get everything more, 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 more because they look better because they put a little bit more effort than you into their appearance. The more attractive you are, the better you're going to be received by people. People are just going to want to be giving you opportunities. Hey man, let's go do this. Let's do this together. Let's do this together. You ugly dude. People tend to like, yeah, I don't know, man. It's something about ugly people, something about average people. They're not that special. When you're with an attractive person, you're around an attractive person, it's like you want to be your best, right? So you kind of want to be around them because you want to you want their attractiveness to rub off on you. You're like, man, that dude look good, man. I want to be around them more. When you're not attractive, bro, people are looking for every reason to avoid you. Women are looking for every reason to flake on you. They don't want to be around you because you don't, you, you're not somebody that is appealing to look at. And number five, they have great fashion awareness. One thing I notice about guys that are very attractive that they have that a lot of average men don't is that they know how to put together their fashion. I started really getting into the dynamics of male and female dating when I was in high school. I didn't know shit about game. I didn't understand female nature, none of that. But what I was doing was I was always putting myself around guys that I knew women treated better. I played football in high school and there were a couple of guys who were just like, good looking dudes that I, the women were just obsessed over. So what I would do is I would just put myself around these dudes like, what is it? What's going on? What is it about him? These dudes always dress well. Even if it's something as small as going to a football practice. I remember this one dude, I'm not gonna say his name. This dude was like the pretty boy of the team. Girls were just so into him. He was like, he had that nice balance between masculine and prettiness. He would be going to football practice, bro, tucked in, towel, I'm like, bro, you don't gotta, this ain't a fashion show. But he that's how he carried himself. He was put together on a football field. He had his little stripes in the bands, not just looked the part. Without having to even have to see his face, you could tell he was a handsome dude with the helmet on and how he put the clothes on on the football field. And that translated to everywhere else. Whenever he dressed up, whenever he was going out, he always looked the part. Guys who are very attractive tend to always have a good fashion sense. They, they care about how they're being perceived with the clothes that they put on. So they take that extra time to make sure they look good. They take that extra time to make sure that whatever they're putting on makes them look better. A lot of you motherfuckers leave the house looking like shit. You put on anything and you go out the house and you wonder why women don't notice you. You can't even take five minutes, bro, to look in the fucking mirror and make sure what you got on makes sense. Uh, I, don't, I gotta do all that. You don't have to keep being a bum keep being average we need more bums hey bro more average dudes the better more ass for me and all the guys who are willing to put in the work hey all my winners who are watching this we need these bums we need these average dudes who want to be lazy who don't want to put in that extra effort to look the part we need y'all somebody has to give women free validation and attention i ain't gonna do it so we need you bro that's why i tell you guys the number one thing that you need to have in your house is a full body mirror the number one thing you need to always look at yourself before you leave the house i don't give a fuck if you're going to put out trash i live in an apartment building in a condo where there's plenty of baddies my apartment is full of bad bitches i don't know what they do they might do of i don't know what they do but it's full of hot chicks I don't give a fuck if I'm going to get mail. I'm going to put on a nice little tank top. I'm going to look. I ain't leaving the house looking like a bum. So get that full body mirror. Have more of a fashion sense. 
Does the clothes you, you're wearing make sense? Do you look good wearing this shit or not? If you don't, this is why you're average. This is why you're not considered handsome. This is why you don't get these opportunities. This is why you can't get women in the friend zone. This is why you can't, you don't get none of this shit because you're regular. This is how you stop being regular, man. Do everything I just told you to do. And don't forget, guys, go in the link in the description or the pinned comments. Grab your Tej Henley Uncomplicated Skincare for Men. 40% off, 20% off for life, plus a free gift. So you can start being an attractive man in your routine. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'll get back with you guys next time.